Let's try to reproduce and solve this error about um, casting when we are using star procedures and um, entity framework. Uh, for this example, I have uh, this little application um, called in MVZ, and um, it has a, a controller that is going to uh, get information from a database in SQL uh, SQL Server. Uh, this is the database, and this database has a store procedure that get information from the table book in this case it's going to count all, all the uh, records in that table okay I'm going to execute this uh, little piece and we get uh, the number two we have two books in that uh, in that table now um, I have a model uh, where uh, the database is mapped uh, in this case, we have the uh, count books uh, store procedure we have here. And when we call that, um, that store procedure, is we are going to get uh, the number of books in this variable. Okay. Uh, previous of this, um, I declare the uh, books entity. And uh, I call the store procedure and I get the amount of books. Now I'm going to execute this. Okay. It's running. And uh, it's going to hit the home sort procedure. That's going to be the main page. But um, I'm going to call the books control. Okay, it's running. Okay, we are in the uh, control, and it's going to call the books count, uh, count books. It's our procedure. And we are going to get the number of books in this variable. Okay, as you can see, we have number uh, number two, the same uh, the same number we got uh, when we were trying to uh, execute the server seed. Um, okay, now let's try to reproduce the error, and it happens for this. Uh, it happens for this reason. When you are working with this uh, with a um, store procedure, um, maybe you want to uh, debug that store procedure. And uh, in this case, we have something very, very simple. Um, it has only one line of code, but you can have many lines of code. Okay. I'm going to simulate that. And in this case, uh, we have a we are declaring a variable here and this is a big in variable and you set a value for that uh, for, the, for that uh, variable and maybe if you are debugging uh, the store procedure you want to know that value okay and you um, uh, simply uh, add a select a statement with um, with the value with variable, okay, and um, maybe you forget to remove this, okay, and as you can see, this is a big in variable, and if you if we check uh, the map, okay, the mapping for the store procedure, it returns an int, okay, and check here, we have a difference in variable, okay. Now uh, let's okay. Let's compile this and let's try to execute. This is something uh, completely normal that uh, you do when you try to you are trying to debug your store procedure. And okay, we have two values: we have one for the variable, the second one for the count, and the store procedure um, or the map is going to get the first 
the first value and for that reason we are going to get that error let's try to see and I'm going to call the books control okay now we're going to execute this line next and we get the error yes specify cast from a materialized system in 64 type to a normal system in 32 type is not valid okay and that's the reason we are returning a big int not an int very well in object what you have to do just remove this again compile again and uh, let's try to execute the line again if it is possible And that's it. That's uh, it's all. Okay. Just pay attention to your code. If you have a, a select involved, and you, uh, that select uh, should not be there. Okay. Thank you.